Why, hello there. Hi. Hey, so we decided to do something a little different for this uh, vlog, and we're actually going to sit down and talk about what's going on instead of just hitting you with a giant montage. Um, but yeah, when we talked to Johnny Abel, came over, uh, James, J uh, Johnny's dad, invited his buddy Johnny Abel over, who's did some consulting with us about under bay storage and like doing some custom welding. Yeah, he's a brewer at the place we're gonna have a gig, Wildlife yep. Life Brewing, but then he's also um, a fabric metal fabricator who used to work with a fabricating company in Denver. So, um, so he looked at the under storage possibilities um, with us on the bus and I, it doesn't seem like he can help us necessarily because he's not, he doesn't have the facility for actually creating the boxes themselves. Yeah. Like if, he might be able to put attach the frame to hold them in there. Yeah, if we have them made, but so far we're, that's still a mystery of uh, whether we just go with a fabricating company in Denver or um, if we can find boxes that are as big as we want because the outside storage is going to be like a garage, so we need yeah. we need big <laughs> yeah. big spaces. And so far, the pre-made boxes we're looking at are you know like thirty six yeah. inches. It's like long, we want like so. fifty inch monster boxes. So yeah. And then there's a solar expert, a guy here who's been living off of solar. for explaining yeah, yeah. So Charlie is Charlie Woodward, not to be confused with Charlie Kern, who's the yellow chrome guy, guy who. Did right. the roof raise on this and got this bus to where it is now, basically. So Charlie Woodward is here in Victor, and he came by the other day and um, he was just looking at because we have eight solar panels. So we had this moment with our dad where we we're like, "Why do we have eight solar panels? It yeah, seems it's a lot. Like really excessive." Yeah, cover the whole roof. Yeah. And then Charlie Woodward came and was looking at our setup, and he was like, "Yeah, I mean that is a lot of power." Um, so then we called up Charlie Kern while Charlie Woodward was here mm -hmm. looking at him. Like oh, Charlie's calling. Oh, Charlie's there. calling. Charlie's calling. They would combine inside. Hello. The, the here's the here's the bus right. manufacturer right here. All good. How you doing? <laughs> hey. Cool. Um, well, we got another Charlie here looking over the solar situation, and he's got some uh, questions. If you don't mind me putting you on speakerphone here. Rocking. Cool. Hi there. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm a solar guy. I've actually lived off grid for 42 years up here, and I've also got a Sprinter van that I uh, that I solarized and all of that. And James and I have worked on a bunch of projects here. It's his daughter and son-in-law who are doing this. I so you provided them a bunch of ginkgos, lots of power. I'm assuming that yeah. the midnight charge controller on your power board is a standard classic 150, so it's designed to run strings of three ginkgos. That's true. Okay. Um, introduce the Charlies. Introduce the Charlies, asked Charlie Kern in Denver a bunch of questions about the solar, and um, he was saying that he has six solar panels on his school bus that he lives in yeah. and wished that he has. Eight. has always yeah wished that he had put eight on and he highly recommends having as much solar power as possible so oh, yeah. apparently you sold them eight panels so they got some extras now well uh they wanted eight they did four strings of two uh, uh, two strings of four four, four he said four, four strings, strings of two four strings of two yeah. okay i gotcha. see gotcha all right, yeah, you could do four strings of two or on we 12 do, volts. Or, okay, or we do two strings of three. Right, and, yeah. right. okay. Because yeah. two strings of three is still 2,100 watts, which is mucho plenty, I would think. That's twice what I have at home. The problem yeah. is that, you know, when you, once you flatten out those panels, you lose, you know, about 30% right off the right. top. Right, yeah, except for high noon. You know? Right. Yeah. We're looking for roof space also for, yeah, for the marine escape patch and the power vent and a little deck. So we might be scaling back to six. I would say that, that you would probably regret that. But oh, really? okay. Really? Okay. That's interesting. That's okay. Well, that's your, your opinion's important. <laughs>
Gotcha. Well, and, and you can fit the vents. Like okay. You can fit your okay. Four, four strings, four strings of two then. Yeah. Sorry, Charlie, was that, yeah, what was that last part you said? They were 600 bucks a panel? Okay. Okay, awesome. gotcha. Okay. Cool. <laughs> good feedback. Yep. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. It's just this is probably the conversation we had back when we bought them and I just, we just forgot. forgot. Yeah. yeah. Right. We're like, I don't know why Charlie gave us eight. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. So um, we will not be having a rooftop deck as we originally thought. We will be having butt tons of solar power, which you yep. can't complain about. Yeah, enough to run all the appliances and air conditioning and all that stuff once we get everything set up. Oh, oh my god, Sheba. Yeah, sorry, Sheba, the cat is knocking over two by fours back there. <sighs> He's been keeping us up every night. I'm so sleep deprived. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I guess now is it here. Let's introduce this little chunk of love. We left him in Fort Collins and then felt terribly guilty about leaving him, so Addison rented a car and drove back to Fort Collins last weekend and picked his ass up. But, and we're really glad to have him again, but Jesus Lord, he is a... He's a handful. Yeah. He um, caught two bulls and was chasing them around all over us last night. Luckily, yeah, brought them into our tiny little camper we're living in and uh, was just like brought them into bed with us this morning. <laughs> I mean, it's pitch black out. We didn't know what was going on. We just yeah. knew that our cat was running all over us, as he sometimes does. And he also locked his cat door. Somehow. Somehow, so then he's banging on his cat door, trying to get more bowls or something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, luckily nice he ate one of them, and then the other one we were able to chase out of the... Free, yeah. Yeah. Liberate. Um, but we're sleep deprived um, right, for Shiva. many reasons. But, uh, so that's, so the, anyway, uh, that's what's new around that's here. That's another one with Shiva. <laughs> yeah. But yes, we've got, uh, yeah, we've been doing a lot of brainstorming. My dad's watching yeah. schoolie conversion Tons. videos. Yeah, he's day. really in the yeah, R&D. The other night he was like, here's the R&D, the research yeah. and development. Yeah. yeah. And if there's with every step of everything we do, like with the ribbing, it's like, oh, should we use two by fours or should we use like, you know, double uh, plywood, you know, mm -hmm. Two by one or whatever. It doesn't it is. conduct heat as much or cold and heat as much, so that the <laughs> just the yeah. points where the boards are touching the metal, you know, that's consideration of if, whether it's two inches or one inch. You know, that's the, a point where it's not insulated. Mm -hmm. So there's just everything that we're yeah. doing. There's just all this consideration. Yeah, just um, having to work through like think of every last appliance and every last electronic we're going to want to run in here so that we can get clear on what we'll need as far as um, the solar batteries we'll be charging off the panels and so we can get clear on like the wiring and all these different things. So it's a lot of abstract stuff of like trying to think yeah, of, trying to imagine. do we want a jacuzzi or like, <laughs> yeah. do we want a toaster? Yeah, or, yeah. Which we don't. But we're like toaster um, microwave and like, no, we'll cut those and just thinking all these little like, and I keep thinking of like, oh, why won't like a baller sound system? How much is that going to cost us volt wise, you know? And then every time me and my dad and I are about to start working, it's like, oh, we need to go to the hardware store and get Alex fast dry cock. And oh, we need <laughs> to 14 by two and a half inch yeah. drill screws. The, four, the, the uh, 14 by two and three quarters were too long. So you got to go to the hardware store and get the sh slightly shorter screw and or for putting in these yeah. um, boxes around the wheel wells we realize you know we need these these seven inch wide boards not the two inch wide boards or whatever yeah um so it's just and it's fine also what's a huge advantage about working with my dad is he's got an entire barn yeah he's got all the tools we and greta yeah. who is hosting us here they've got an entire barn full of every kind of tool mm -hmm. we could ever hope for so yeah we're just yeah it's really awesome because we don't have to be buying you know we don't have to go and buy this 
power um, sander. No, or it's not axle a power grinder. sander. It's a grinder. Yeah, axle grinder. For cutting the angle grinder, rather. For cutting the vent, the, yeah. the root for the vents. We went and bought the blades, but like Greta had this grinder already, yeah. so it's like, you know, so many. Every single time I work with my dad, he's just pulling out all yeah. these tools. And like, like that, we're thankful for. Yeah. Well, driving and away from Charlie's, we're like, okay, spray foam was what Charlie Kern does. So in Denver, yeah, yeah. But then we get up here and we're starting to look at, okay, well, it would be pretty expensive to go to a company to spray foam it. Do we want to do it ourselves? And looking at the risks involved in doing it ourselves and like the pain in the ass of the cleanup and stuff like that. So we're like, okay, so then maybe we'll do a combo where we put in like the the form the yeah, foam board. Foam boat yeah, glue foam those. Board and then insulate, you know, in the cracks. Yeah, like with like spray can style. Yeah. And then and then, then and then do the the big foam in like regular spray foam for get the, the ceiling. The kit and do yeah. it ourselves on the ceiling. So some combination, yeah. But then, so that was the route we were gonna go. My dad and I are like cutting foam board and yeah. you know, buying glue and everything. And then we talked to Charlie Kern in Denver and he just said, I would not try to do it my, yourself because it's just too easy. The, the walls are made out of metal, so condensation happens. It's just too easy for there to be- um, Mold and rot. And... For water to get in yeah. and uh, just trying to do it yourself and ultimately paying a company to do the spray foam for us isn't going to actually cost a lot more than doing it ourselves yeah. once we yeah put the numbers together between materials so, and then just the hours of doing it and cleaning up that we'd have to spend yeah because once you like, insulate then you've got to go around cutting all so the that the chunks that stick out yeah the so that it's all even all around and then you can put the paneling up. So yeah. my dad and I hunted down absolute foamer guy yeah. um, here in Victor. Yeah, there's, he's like this entrepreneur who owns like five businesses. So yeah, they have to drive I, to like all these different locations. Well, yeah, and then meanwhile we're just trying to stay sane by taking walks in nature and meditating every morning and yeah. um, you know, reading our Buddhist yeah. literature and yeah, yeah. I'm starting to really get into alchemy as well, learning more about alchemy. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for tuning in. We are the Love Sprockets. Oh uh, yeah. I'm Jonathan. Yeah, and I'm Addison. And we'll talk to you soon. Rock on. Stay.